gonna go over self-rescue. This is gonna be basic self-rescue because as you can see, we tell you all the beginners not to go in deep water yet, right? So because deep water will turn into a self-advanced rescue. You wanna keep it basic because you guys are beginner. So therefore you should be able to walk or stand in the water once again. Only use this emergency when it's a emergency. You have to use the safety release system when you don't want the power in the kite anymore. Even when sometimes it's not emergency, maybe one of the line get wrapped around the kite and you don't want the line to wrap up around the kite and when the kite power up, it could rip the kite in half also. So if you tangle with another person, you could still use the safety release system also. You could do this by manually. Let's say the kite is falling into the water already and you don't want the kite to be dragging you. Maybe I fall downwind and we need to walk back up. So what you could do is grab one of the front line here. This is called manual flag out. Pick either left or right and pull it aggressively without having the kite power up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the kite against the wind. So make sure you don't wrap your fingers around the line. So just hold it lightly. This should be done when the wind is not strong. This should be done when the wind is not man is manageable, meaning the wind is too light to ride, but I have to walk way upwind. So I want to kill the power of the kite so that I have an easy time to walk like this. You see that? Okay. So this is manual, manually flag out the kite. So I could go to my kite right now, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to show you the real release right now. You could release the kite when the kite is at 12 o'clock. However, you have 25 meters between you and the line or whatever the, your line leg is. This will make the kite fall down very, very a good amount of distance. What does that mean if the kite could flip over, the kite could do many, many things. What I usually do is use my dominant hand, which is my right here. I keep the kite very low. The first thing I do is I make sure that I, I have the leash connected to my safety ring before I activate the safety release here. Or if I'm not sure what I want to do yet, what I could do is keep the kite on the edge of the wind window, nine o'clock or three o'clock. What's going to happen is the wind going to go right through it. I don't even have to touch the bar right now. If I keep the kite at 12, the kite could pick me up in the air. But if I keep the kite at the edge of the wind window, it won't pick me up. It was just pulling me forward. So I'm more, much more safer. If I get yanked by a gust, all the kite gonna do is just pulling me forward. So what I wanna do is just lean back against the kite just a little bit. This is not too much wind yet. So we're gonna keep the kite a little bit up above here. So if you wanna release, make sure the kite is nearby the water. Make sure your safety leash is connected. And as soon as you're ready, activate it and just let go of everything. Now, the bar has to go far away from you. As you can see here, when we release it like this near the water, the kite will drop in the water very quickly with its leading edge toward the wind right away. So now the wind go on top of it and push out, push it down. Depends on the design of the kite. Some of the kite are very flat. So it will stay in the water very flat, but some of the kite has a lot of friction against the water because the strut are very very tall so the kite is still create a good amount of resistance against the wind so now i don't want to trust before we have four lines attached to the kite now we only have one so we don't want to trust this one we want to go to the bar to the kite as soon as possible if this was a mistake i release it by mistake i could reconnect myself also i could reconnect every all the system I want to put this here, so this way my hand is, I'm, I don't have to worry about the kite pull. I could uh, reconnect myself here. I could release this out. I could slowly keep your eye on the kite, make sure that it doesn't flip over or anything. I'm not going to hook myself in yet because I want to see if any lines get tangled at all. I want to make sure everything is clear and slowly release it so it doesn't power up too quickly for me now. So when I get to here, I could hold on to this and hook myself right back and then I could relaunch the kite again. So if this was a real emergency, then I, I would just go retrieve the kite. This is a real emergency, so I don't have to worry about this. I keep the kite low. Once again, I activate the safety release and then I let the kite go. Now, we want to retrieve the kite first. Don't worry about the bar. We want to follow the safety line, okay? You want to hold on to this and you want to walk forward the kite, okay? Once you get to the control bar, what we don't want to do is, the old way is they would tell you to wrap this around this side, but I don't want to do that because 
common sense wise this is the only thing that still could power up and still will be dangerous for me so i want to get to my kite first so now when i go sideways either my left or my right depends on which way the kite is to my left or my right i'm gonna let the bar go to the other side the wind or the water current will do it's uh, will do the pushing the bar to the other side automatically now when i get to the bridle i will go to the center of the kite so when I get to the center of the kite, remember when we pump the kite, we have a little line here that will connect to the to the pump, right? So I will hold on to my safety ring. I will disconnect myself from the leash. And now I don't have to worry about my kite ever again because it's already attached to me. But I do not want to lose my kite. So I want to make sure that my leash is properly secure. So now I need to retrieve, to retrieve my bar. So the way the more you organize the more you cle clear this properly you less time you have to deal with all the tangle line lines on the beach so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reverse this because remember we have one safety line that was pulled and it was very very long so i'm going to pull it back if this was a real emergency i don't have to worry about this so much i could wrap it and throw it on top of the bar and then I get to the beach as soon as possible. If I'm getting hurt, I get a cut or anything at all, I need to get to the beach real quick and I don't have to worry about the bar. But if you have time where maybe the wind died or I'm not in a hurry, I'm gonna wrap everything up neatly, nice and neatly so that I don't have to worry about the kite and the bar when I go back to the beach at all. So now, this <laughs> As you can see here, I never have to worry about my kite whatsoever because it stays still. It doesn't power up at the end. I grab this down. I go back. Where's my board? Ah, in shallow walk up the water, you can retrieve your board very easily. So let's wrap up our safety and very easy to just walk back right here.